Good morning, HHS. It's October 12th. Coming up on today's show is Exchange Students, the Interpreters Club, and f football at JMU. My name is Brandon Steves. And I'm Jesse Lichty, and this is your morning news. On Saturday, on Saturday October 13th at 11.45 a.m., the 9th Annual Shenandoah Valley Marching Invitational will be occurring here at HHS. 21 bands from throughout the state of Virginia will be competing for a chance at performing for the fun event from 8 to 10 p.m. The Blue Street Band will perform at 5.45. Tickets are $5 for students. Make sure to support your Blue Streaks. As you all know, there are lots of exchange students here at HHS. Eli Derrick has more on that topic. Students from Salamanca, Spain have been visiting, exploring different ways of life here at HHS. So last year I was in Spanish 3 and Mr. Yutzi actually said that I should do, that our class should do like a Salamanca exchange trip and I got interested in it when one of my friends decided to be in it as well. So the requirements was you had to take at least three years of Spanish and be at least somewhat fluent in Spanish and also be willing to like shadows, like have someone like be with you and stuff like that. Patricia is a student staying with Haley. In my college, we offered it. We said it was a good trip because the Spanish people like much America and we wanted to visit it. And apart from that, to improve and improve our English. Because when we came out, it's when we learn more English. Compared to the life back in Salamanca, there are major differences in everyday life that we often don't notice, such as electives, classes, and sports, and many other cultural differences. I haven't dealt with the cultural difference yet, but my student I've, I've seen has actually dealt with cultural differences. Um, like, her, she's more quiet, and she hasn't really explained to me, like, what's different and what's not, but I can tell, like, with certain things on, like, like mostly the most thing that I've seen the difference was it's like plumbing <laughs> because the first day my student um, actually had a like breakdown because she didn't know how to like work the shower. They're coming from a different school structure so the way that they do school for instance they have no sports per se associated with their school there's no band associated with their school a lot of the things that we take for granted I like GRTC, they don't have that. They're really intrigued by, uh, by that class, dance classes. Uh, they just have pretty much pure academic classes. The differences that there are here in Spain are, for example, the sports. Like in the football American in Spain, we don't do it very much, we don't play it. The life in general is very different because here at 7, everyone goes to their houses or the stores are closed and in Spain, a las 7 salimos a la calle a hacer nuestras actividades y normalmente nosotros comemos en nuestras casas, pero aquí la gente come en el colegio. También eh, la duración de las clases son mucho más largas. Eh, el profesor eh, en España eh, rota y aquí el profesor tiene su propia clase y los alumnos rotan también. The transfer exchange students left October 3rd on Wednesday last week and on November 2nd, our students here from HHS will be heading over to Salamanca, Spain. You up? Go. Gymnastics preseason training continues today from 3.40 to 4.45. Meet in the hallway near the weight room if you're interested. Come ready to work out. You must have a physical in order to train. A few weeks ago, the Varsity Blue Streaks football team crushed Waynesboro at Bridgeforth Stadium. Leo and Ersan went to the game. The Harrisonburg Blue Streaks played Waynesboro at the GMU Stadium on Saturday, September 29th. The Streaks started their workout by running to and from the field. They started on the end zone and went to the 15 yard line. Well, 
I think I'm gonna do like pretty good. I'm just gonna have to do what I always do to help us win. Um, our biggest competition was Lord Bodyside because like they work like all summer, staying away from every day. But we do the same thing, but like not as much as them. The streaks ended up beating Waynesboro with a score of fifty to seven. If you didn't know, there is an interpreters club here at HHS. Daniel and Timothy are here to teach you about it. Harrisonburg High School is known for its diversity and races and ethnicities. A handful of multilingual students selflessly devote their time to learning to properly communicate and better serve their community with their interpretation skills every Thursday. The Interpreters Club was born uh, more than seven years ago here at the high school with the idea of helping uh, parents who do not speak English and we've, we had the need to have volunteers, especially for parent-teacher conferences. So the club has been preparing students to help other families. We do a, a small training and we practice, um, as well as we do a couple of fundraisers uh, for the end of the year. The main goal that we have is to uh, uh, develop the um, language skills of those kids who um, who had never worked on uh, the interpretation side and be able to help others uh, doing volunteer hours. Um, I think it's like uh, to opening a gift that sometimes you don't open, um, trying to um, help them understand that a bilingual person has double the opportunities. These extra benefits and opportunities are numerous for bilingual people. Speaking a second language has numerous employment benefits. Being bilingual means that there are more job opportunities depending on which languages you speak. Communication in the workplace is important, and more companies are considering bilingualism as a high priority. Not to mention the fact that an interpreter can make $50,000 for just their communication skills a year on average. When I first came here, I was not knowing English at all. It was difficult for me to communicate. So I understand that many people when come here and they don't speak English and it's so hard for them to communicate and sometimes it's, they're struggling. So I just want to make this uh, speaking and communicating for them easier. Uh, so when I go to interpreter, interpret anywhere around the school or outside of the school when I see people on, who need interpret, uh, me to help them interpret, I would do that and then for many of the conferences I would go and interpret for the parents and the teacher to communicate together and get together. So that way I'll still have I will still live in my community as well and have some hands of helping. The Interpreters Club is a great way to not only learn the art of good communication, but to also contribute back to your community. It focuses on developing good communication and interpretation skills, while also becoming better at your language. The lowest gas prices today are at Sheets and Exxon University in Reservoir at two fifty four per gallon. Today is an early release, so make sure to grab lunch if you need to. And that's all we have for you today, Blue Streaks. I'm Jesse Lichty. And I'm Brandon Season. Don't forget to buckle up.